Okay. Uh, this is my Skoda Fabia third generation. I would like to present today different Android solutions. So this is Bolero Entertainment System. We are currently listening to the radio. And I will switch to something which you probably know very well, which is mirroring. I don't have Android Auto here because this is uh, model year 2015, so there is no Android. Android Auto is not available here. Okay, so let's start some application. You can see the phone above, so you can see how it works. Let's start Google Maps. And as you expect, when we will start moving, you can see I've got reverse camera here also, but when we start moving, the application will switch off because it's not available during driving. But now, some time for a piece of magic. When I switch, the OK button on my button on my steering wheel for more than five seconds, you will see that the application will be enabled. And it will not be shut down no matter how long and how fast we're driving. Why? Because I've got here some um, CAN adapter which First of all, deactivates uh, mirror link in cars that are equipped with um, DVD players. It also enables um, the possibility to watch the movies during driving. So you are, as you see, it still is on the display no matter if we drive or if we stop. Right now we will turn right and I will switch the adapter off as I mentioned you can switch it on and off just by pressing the OK button on the steering wheel and voila right now so this is the factory solution which is where it is not available and after switching it on I have the possibility to play any navigation, any, nav any, any application, as a matter of fact, that are not on re uh, navigation while driving. <clears throat> the disadvantage, first of all, you need your mobile phone to be connected via USB, so uh, it has to be all the time connected and uh, uses your internet and the most critical issue for me I have no sound after switching to to mirroring in the best case I have some sound I mean radio playing or media playing that means other source than the phone only till the first sound is played from the from the phone as long as there's let's say first message from the navigation system then automatically the sound from any other um, source is muted so okay it works if you listen to some streaming from your phone then it's okay but if you like to listen to your radio it's a disaster in my opinion so what I would like to present you is some other solution which I use oh, I will switch right now back to radio you can see some music in the background but now I will switch to my solution which is an Android, a separate Android unit, which is 
connected to the to Bolero infotainment system. As a matter of fact, you can call it like the Bolero infotainment system is right now changed to some tablet. You can see it's completely independent from uh, from the phone. You can see that completely different story, different applications running. So this is pure Android and I can use it almost without any limitations. This is what you can see right now is Navi Expert navigation system. Um, let us take some road. You can hear the sound, it's played by a dedicated speaker. It can also be played similar way as for mirroring via the internal speakers connected to the radio because it's connected parallelly to the uh, auxiliary input. So, this solution, in my opinion, is much better. It gives you perfect flexibility. You can have even no phone, or you can have any other phone, like iPhone or some feature phone or whatever. And you still have your navigation directly <coughs> on your infotainment system. What are the other possibilities also? This system can be used to watch TV. You can add, as this, this is an optional equipment, you can add a digital TV broadcasting, DVD-T. I need to set it up first. It's searching right now for stations. And you can watch TV while driving without any limitations. Of course, any time right now I can, if I want, I can switch back to mirror link so you can see. But still in the pre in the background you can you can hear the messages from Navi Expert navigation system. I love this solution. I can tell you, I really love it. You can see several stations have already been scanned. Anytime I can, I can switch to radio or to any other sound source, music, whatever. Switching to Android is done just by pressing media button for a couple of seconds. Then by pressing the media button again, you switch to another audio video source, which in this case is digital TV. So we can see, just a summary, you were able to see two solutions. One is uh, adapter that disables <coughs> uh, switching off of mirroring. We can say that it enables video in motion and enables mirroring in all uh, MIP second generation infotainment systems from Volkswagen Group. So it works in 
<coughs> Volkswagen cars with um, Discover Media, Discover Pro. Oh, we've got some movie here. So I need to change sound to a thousand meters. Trzymaj się lewej strony. To uh, auxiliary because this is the the way the sound from digital TV is delivered to the media system. You can see it right now. So right now we have sound from from digital TV, but still we can hear the sound, the messages from navigation system, which are played from the dedicated speaker. And of course I can switch to to the navigation system, to Android navigation, and right now. The sound is played also, the messages are played also from the radio speakers. Let me switch back to radio. And now Android. I hope you like it. Thank you very much for, for watching. Just uh, let me let me remind you this works in Volkswagen, this works with Skoda, with Bolero, Amundsen and uh, Columbus available in Fabia Free, Octavia Free and Super Free. It also works with new uh, SAT systems. So if it works in all the systems where the head unit is separated from the main unit. So main unit is installed in the glove box usually. You just connect the adapter, plug it's plug and play, you connect it between these two units. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day, evening, weekend, whatever. Bye bye.